a lackluster win against Bradley three days before Christmas. Won by just one. Jeremiah Tillman won it for Missouri at the buzzer. Tennessee coming off of a 20-point win. And oh, but oh, by the way, they bring a pair of five stars off the bench. Active hands early by this uh, Tennessee team caused the first turnover, and they get an open bucket. Missouri again, again. one of the better defensive teams. Right. The Victor Bailey Jr. on Pinson. Pinson is the guy that makes Mizzou go. We'll talk about a lot of people, but if he goes well, the, the Mizzou will score a lot of points. Mizzou shoots it well outside. It opens everything up. Selman with the paint touch, working on Fulkerson. A oh, pump fake, and Pond still got him. E. Pond's a sensational shot blocker. He's a rim protector at 6'6". He can erase uh, any mistake that a teammate makes. And he comes from all angles. He hangs, he glides, knocks it down, knocks it off Tillman's leg. What a play. A sock with kind of ball up and down the floor. It's entertaining to watch. Mitchell Smith on the floor for Missouri. An early reach for Keon Johnson. You're always interested to see a guy like Keon Johnson comes in the ball game, a five-star freshman, as you said, and Jaden Springer. Will veteran guards like Drew Smith try to take it to Tennessee? Well, I think what's curious now with the two freshmen we said come in, don't be surprised if they post either one up early against a smaller defensive team of Missouri. Their guards aren't as tall as these two freshmen guards. What is remarkable about this Tennessee team, even the five-star guys, is that every one of them, they played the Colorado game, they played often, and they played well. Conzo's gone deep in his bench. Drew Bugs and Parker Brown both on there. be drafted. And he's the guy that's in the middle of pack, maybe top 15. Pinson with the screen from Smith. Got switched to Springer. Off the mark. Conzo today saying... Xavier Pinson's got to learn where the best shot is for this team and decision making coming off those screens. Every possession. First miss came on an Anna Sicky miss. Parker Brown challenging, challenging again. And Pond's able to clean up. Quick and explosive. Every one of these ball members. They, they are tough. And I don't think you realize the quickness till you play against it. They're one of the. He's got John Fulkerson draped on. Straight up man to man defensively, each guy pretty good on the ball. Can you get, can you swing the ball, can you make it move, can you make body moves, can you have hard cuts? If you stay on the ball against a volunteer, meaning one guy bounces it until he can't bounce it, then he swings it to the next guy, they'll eat you alive. They are so good on the basketball, guys know where you're talk, coming from, they talk, they help out each other. Another turnover for. Yeah, you win it down the stretch even though they didn't play well, but when you think of Missouri and what they've had all year, Pinson, Drew Smith, Mark Smith. Mark Smith hasn't had any opening so far. They haven't been able to find him. Variety of weapons and how they can score offensively for the balls that make them so effective. They've got good shooters outside, strong guys inside. This guy, one of the best shooters in the country. Santiago Vescovi, new hair color, same jumper. He's got two threes here early. He hit six in his Vols debut coming over from Uruguay last year. I asked someone today how old, because sometimes a foreign kid, you don't know how old they are. He's 19 years old. Here's Kobe Brown. Tough reverse last time there, down, not there that time. Smith bails him out. Shot clock at six. High off the glass, and Pons affected that one, even though he didn't get a hand on it. Yeah, you have to know where Pons is coming from, and the shot clock was running down, but wherever Pons leaves, his guy has to be available for a pass. Missouri backcourt so far. Bugs, a transfer, trying to get in on it. Pons, another block. Wow. It, amazing. The quickness of his hands. Interesting you say hands. Most people first go to the fact that he gets up so quick, but you're saying... It's what it's at the end of his arms, it doesn't. Well, if you don't have the quickness of hands and the ability to see where he's going, he's on the backside of a 6'11 guy. I mean, there's no way. Pinson's obviously out of the lineup. You've, you've got 
pick it down on the low end. He's kind of a place towards the basket. That's not a high quality shot. Missouri, a poor three point shooting team for two. Tillman almost knocked it in. Hey, you're talking about scouting. Conzo had a fascinating answer. When asked by, uh, he finishes the play, he gets fouled, and at under 50%, he still made the free throw. He just made two there. Uh, he's going to probably have a terrific senior season and needs to for Missouri to have a good SEC run, which was a probably a good job by Kim English, who used to coach out of Colorado. Tad Boyle, that got that game started. But, yeah, finding teams to play before conference starts, getting you ready for conference has been tough for some squads. Bad foul by Kobe Brown. Not only is it his second, but he didn't stop Springer from scoring, and now it's a three-point opportunity for the freshman from Charlotte. Explosive uh, to the rim every time he touches the basketball. Son of another. I've not had anybody look it up, Tom, but it. Uh, would you? Could you guess how many teams have ever had two five-star players come off the bench? I can't imagine. The, the only thing I would think back to would be Calipari's team recently when he had Booker and company coming off the bench as a platoon guy. Yeah, maybe. But right. even then, or, I don't know that they had two five stars. Yeah, or in the old days when you had such, you know, guys didn't go out early so many times. Some of these good is going to experiment with at different times. If it works, he'll stay with it. But he's got an active team. He thinks he can put a little different pressure on teams in the SEC. Josiah Jordan James with the steal. They are suffocating on the defensive end. Here's James. Pons now. And he's got to get rid of it. And Pons is not a natural type score. He'll get a bucket here or there, but it's not natural. Doesn't shoot that much outside. Tillman running the floor. Missouri shooting just 26%. Tennessee at 61% in this one. Hans will rise. Great elevation, Brenner. They double up on Tillman. Kobe Brown. Wow, he's got to take that shot. Indecisive, and he ends up. A lot of different guys who can start the offense, don't they? Yeah, it helps uh, when they get deep in. Vescovi's taken two shots. He's hit two threes. He's probably their best shooter. They don't necessarily run stuff for him. They would like him to shoot a little more. Pons is for effectively all the time, but he'll hunt him down. And when he gets on a little roll, again, and it's another offensive weapon for this team. Tillman spun into the double team. Kobe Brown shuffled his feet. But if he adds the ability to shoot because he can shoot it, then they are a much more dangerous team than the offense today. Hahn looks so comfortable doing what he does. Now another a steal by the ball. Hahn finds a streaking play. He can help his team on that offensive end through the Tigers. Got hung up on the back pick, but didn't take advantage. Mark Smith is far and away Missouri's best shooter. 52% from the floor on catch and shoot jump shots. Jump shots. Nobody else in the same neighborhood. Bugs, lob, Tillman. That's where you miss the fans. So if the fan, if the, you know, the bleachers were right? pulled all the way out right there, you'd be having, it'd be entertaining. Well, now for Tony Green. Be. Now, he, he's not as reliant on scoring as maybe he would be on other teams. Yeah, and he's really, his game is so improved over a one-year period. He came into McDonald's All-American as a freshman. Didn't shoot it very well last year. That wasn't his he spot. He communicates, he talks. He's not concerned about scoring, but he's very capable. He's going to have a terrific career in a ball uniform. Oh, yeah. One of those areas you think, okay, use the ability he's got and attack like this and see if he can go off home. Just like that. And we get a step on Parker Brown. It's the first on um, Brown. Once you do this as on an offensive end, isolate a defender against a, a guy that's... Bring it up. 
John, whether or not Missouri has enough to come back in this game, where do they need to be on the offensive end to finish in the top third of the league this year? This game, they have a hard time freeing up some shooters. But if the pace is good, uh, we saw that against Illinois, uh, the tape against Oregon, a win, obviously. But a coaching staff, and conzo has been through this, they've had some great, great wins. Some of the best wins. Houston just lost for the first time a couple days ago. Yesterday, as a matter they, of fact. I think they can be in a conversation below Gonzaga and Baylor. I think those two teams, great pass, great finish. That team had a problem guarding certain quickness on with the big guys. Take a look at this pass, the double team, and there's... Tom, let's go back. There's the post up of a big guard like Keon Johnson. They just put him on the low block and say defend it. But I, I do. I think this Tennessee team could be really special just because of all the bodies they have and the different weapons they have on the offensive end. Defensively, they're they're unbelievable. Mitchell Smith, the board, kept his balance. It's a shame we didn't get Tennessee and Gonzaga on December second. That one was canceled, and then. It nearly got rescheduled right before Christmas. But Tennessee couldn't pull off the road trip. And I think that was the game that ended up going to Virginia. Uh, Gonzaga, by the way, if you've been watching college football or something else, not paying attention, John, they could be undefeated post to post. Yeah, I think it's Gonzaga in the field. Uh, a frustrating foul by Mitch. That COVID and you can't go some places. Maybe you can go to John's gym and work on some stuff with one of the best point guards ever. Uh, just a rumor that I've heard. But that doesn't hurt. Yeah, well, it doesn't hurt when you do things like that. But they, they are. And you know what? Gonzaga, like they are every year, they're experienced. They get a lot of transfers, get a lot of guys in the round, and then they've got a fabulous freshman son. But most teams that, that win at a high number are. You have to have a lot of different options in the offensive end. How many options do you have that can get you 20 points, right? How many different guys that on a certain night when one guy or two guys are struggling, is there another year? As an individual in the top 20, you could put just about anybody as your leading scorer any night. Tennessee team stayed in Knoxville around Christmas time. Their families came to town and watched movies on the uh, Jumbotron at Thompson Bowling. Almost twice as many turnovers as made field goals for Missouri. Here's Springer from the bin. Uh, now all of a sudden you're starting conference play where really the fun begins. Teams know each other, coaches know each other, they know their habits. Smith will be a second. I would love to ask Pinson if he thought there was any way Pons could get that. Because I'm sure Pinson, if he's on early, who you play, it's when you play him. Because teams are going to look drastically different week to week this season. Offensive foul on Pickett, that's his third person. And it might be because they're missing a player or two. It might be because they're hot. It might be because they have other issues going on in the program. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, good defense by Pons. Pickett is a downhill pass in shape enough when you have to have some of these breaks that, you know, if COVID hits or if something happens. Orange watching on the floor now for Missouri. Corner shot. That's where they want him. And it skips off the rim. Frank Martin's team, one and two, they go out of conference this weekend. Hopefully decided. It looks like, based on everything he's been through, this is a good opportunity for Torrance Watson to show what he can do for Conzo Martin. He's found playing time hard to come by this season. Tillman in the paint. Many minutes this season. Streaky shooter. Uh, probably lack of minutes has been, obviously they've got a lot of guards, but because he's, last year he wasn't very consistent at making the outside shot for Conzo Martin. Hard to get playing time when you're as deep as, as this Missouri team is. Just like Rick Barnes, got to do the little thing to get your playing time. Missed a block out there, but blocking out and playing defense. Josiah Jordan James, three on three. So instead of continuing to play and to chase whatever team can sign you and the move wherever he was on a national championship team for the Lady Balls in 2008. Off balance and off the guys. 
much, much better basketball players than if he automatically said when they showed up, hey, it's your position, you start, you get to do what you want to do. Their, their careers will multiply just by the time they spend. Nobody has that piece, I don't think, in the, in the country. So if you're Tennessee, if you're a teammate to Pond, you, 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 you've got a guy on aisle five. Two. What an impressive league opener for the Tennessee Volunteers who go to 7-0 and on the season. Offensive board. Gaines with the putback. And I, I, I honestly, I don't know who would have thought we'd see this kind of game. 